Hello guys, welcome to the Superwatch channel. Grand Seiko, the upscale sister of the well-known Japanese watchmaker Seiko, manufactures fine luxury timepieces. Grand Seiko watches are in a class of their own, despite the widespread acclaim for standard Seiko timepieces due to their reasonable costs, robust designs, and reliable mechanisms. Today's video will go through the top Grand Seiko watches that you can buy this year. I've included links in the description below for further information on the goods. Let us begin without further ado. Number 1. Grand Seiko SBGR 311 The new Grand Seiko SBGR 311, commonly known as the SBGR 311G, features a beautiful sapphire backplate and an updated mechanism. The professional watchmakers at Seiko obviously spent many hours caring for this special edition watch. In an effort to compete with the Swiss, who dominated the watch market for decades, Grand Seiko was launched in the 1960s. Since then, Seiko has continuously improved the quality of these watches by paying meticulous attention to every last detail as they are made. They haven't yet cracked the market like Rolex, but they're doing rather well thanks to the sales of watches like the Grand Seiko SBGR 311. The essential element of this design is the dial. Some would find this shade of brown monotonous, but Seiko has added some fascinating details to leaven things up. There are 80 spiraling lines that make up the dial's design. Matching the signature at the top of the watch face, the G and the S stand for Grand Seiko. The alternative sign is a second S, this one written in a distinct typeface. Morioka-based manufacturer Dani Seikosha, now known as Seiko Instruments Incorporated, uses this logo. The S below the signature is a trademark of Seiko watches. You may recognize it from another timepiece. The Grand Seiko SBGR 311 is one of the biggest stainless steel cases available at 42 millimeters in diameter. Despite this, the narrower lugs make it a breeze to wear and look great on the wrist without drawing attention to themselves. The release of this watch was intended to commemorate the Ninus Movement's 20th anniversary. The Grand Seiko SBGR 311 houses the 9S68 mechanism. Its size exceeds that of the preceding 9S65. However, the SBGR 311's power reserve remains the same at 72 hours despite its larger size. The battery life is adequate for a current Grand Seiko, but the more ponderous mechanism is disappointing. The Grand Seiko SBGR 311 is not the most costly Grand Seiko model and can be purchased for roughly $6,000. The price tag reflects the high degree of difficulty and labor put into its creation. Number 2. Grand Seiko Spring Drive Snowflake SBGA 211 The Spring Drive Snowflake SBGA 211 has a 41mm titanium round casing. This makes it somewhat, but noticeably, wider than the other watches I'll be evaluating today. These Grand Seiko timepieces feature a moderate amount of wrist presence in actual use. Nonetheless, they vary greatly from one another in almost every other way. The SBGA 211 has a slanted design from the base of the bezel to the top of the case, where the crystal is located. The crystal's slight curvature and edge indentation won't cause the dial to become distorted. The watch is also safe to wear while swimming because it is water-resistant to a depth of 100 meters. The dial is white with a textured finish, and it has silver 5-minute indexes, tiny blue hashes to note the minute markers. With their small angular bases and longer, triangular points, the hands resemble the profile of a sword. These beveled hands catch and reflect light beautifully, making them a visual treat. A tiny silver needle on a power meter in the dial's lower left corner indicates the power reserve. A date window replaces the applied index at the 3 o'clock position. It has a silver border, a white face, and black Arabic numerals. Grand Seiko's proprietary spring drive movement is used in the SBGA 211. How exactly it operates is a little beyond the scope of this paper. However, it possesses both the accuracy of a quartz movement and an automatic movement's mechanical ticking activity. It's more precise than Rolex and other fully automated models, to the tune of plus-minus one second daily. The power reserve lasts for three days or 72 hours. Number 3. Grand Seiko Elegance GMT SBGM 221 The Elegance GMT SBGM 221 is all about timeless elegance, while the SBGA 211 is all about practicality. The dial of this vintage timepiece has a soft pinky cream color with little black hashes at the one-minute markings. 
Silver applied markings designate the 5 minute intervals, the 12, 6, and 9 o'clock positions are each marked by two indices. The bar has been replaced by a tiny white date display with black Arabic digits at 3 o'clock. You can find a second 24 hour index inside the main one. At the even hours, tiny black Arabic numbers are shown, while at the odd hours, tiny black arrows point in the appropriate direction. The stainless steel hands have thicker middles and thinner ends, and the GMT hand, which is arrow-shaped in cobalt blue, is essential to every GMT watch. When seen at an extreme angle, the dial becomes distorted due to the height of the crystal in relation to the bezel. From most perspectives, it only serves as an attractive embellishment. The inside of the crystal has been treated with an anti-reflective coating as well. The thin bezel and knurled crown on the 39.5 mm stainless steel case keep things simple. The brown crocodile leather band that fastens the watch adds an exotic touch befitting an explorer's timepiece. The automatic caliber 9S66 movement powers the SBGM221, providing precision of plus minus 3 seconds every day. The three-day power reserve provides you plenty of leeways if you wish to lay it aside sometimes without having to reset it as often as once a month. Number 4. Grand Seiko Elegance Manual Wind SBGK009 This vintage timepiece model Elegance Manual Wind SBGK009 features a simple brown dial. Fine silver hashes designate the mint locations, while bigger applied silver bars denote the five-minute intervals. A power reserve mater may be found on the right, its tiny silver needle resting on a silver bar in the shape of a fan. The 24-hour subdial, located on the left, also has a well-crafted hand. Long and trapezoidal, the primary mint and second hands have beveled edges that cast a beautiful glow. The 39mm stainless steel casing can tolerate light rain and splashes, but not immersion in water. It has a display case back and a sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective coating. The bracelet's nine delicate links ensure a snug fit on any wrist. The 9S63 mechanism has a 72-hour power reserve and an accuracy of plus minus three seconds every day. This makes it competitive with other mechanical Grand Seiko watches, albeit one that requires manual winding rather than automatic operation. Number five, Grand Seiko SLGA015. The SLGA015 is the watch to choose if you want a sporty timepiece with all the bells and whistles and a reliable spring drive movement. There is no other diving watch on the market that can compete with this one. It has a titanium case and band and is resistant to water depths of 200 meters and magnetic fields up to 20,000 Gauss. It's the toughest and most scratch-proof watch available today. The 9RA5 spring drive movement provides this diver with a monthly accuracy of 10 seconds and a massive five days of power reserve. A power reserve indication is a wonderful touch that lets you know how much longer your watch has before it has to be recharged. Seiko's exclusive Lumibrite helps the SLGA015 be easily readable in low light or underwater. The watch has a rare lug width of 23 millimeters, so it may be difficult to acquire replacement straps. Even so, I highly doubt you will ever remove the wonderful bracelet from this clock. So, that's it for the best Grand Seiko watches of this year. Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notification of our latest videos.